So let's look at how we might calculate total cost of ownership. When it comes to total cost of ownership, it works based on acquisition cost, implementation cost, maintenance cost, decommissioning cost, and that gives us our total cost of ownership. So for example, let's say that we want to implement a wireless intrusion prevention system. So we have looked at different vendors and we have come up with a wireless intrusion prevention system that we can purchase and license for $270,000. Well, that's the cost of getting all the licenses, the hardware, all of that that we need, but then there's an implementation cost. And of course, you might be paying someone else to implement it. You might be implementing it yourself. So there's a lot of calculation that's gonna go behind this, but let's say we've determined it's going to cost us $55,000 to implement it. Then you've got to ask, well, what's the maintenance cost? In other words, is this something I install, it's just there and I never have to touch it again? If that's the case, maintenance cost is zero. I know of very few technologies that work in that way. So we have to ask what's it really going to cost us to maintain this. Let's say that it's gonna cost us $20,000 and let's further say that we mean $20,000 per year and we want to factor in four years. So we'll go ahead and put in $80,000. Then you have, what is the decommissioning cost? Now, what does this mean? Okay, four years down the road, I decide that I want to totally forklift this meaning I'm gonna pull it out and put in a completely different wireless intrusion prevention system. Well, at that point, there's a decommissioning cost. I've gotta go remove all the sensors associated with this wireless intrusion prevention system, and I've got to discard all of that hardware, destroy it, anything like that that I need to do. So let's say that that's gonna cost me $45,000. In the end then, the total cost of ownership is simply all of these summed together. So we'll go ahead and use the sum formula and there we have our actual total cost of ownership over that four year window of time. Now the final step then is to calculate our return on investment. So the total cost of ownership gets plugged into the return on investment formula right here in the investment column. So if we're going with the one we just did, $450,000. Now what we have to ask is, okay, with this wireless intrusion prevention system, what is our net profit? Well, in the context of security analysis, net profit can be thought of as the cost savings based on reduced risk, as we have right here in a note. Well, the point is then that if I'm gonna save some money because I've reduced risk using this WIPS, then that money saved is money earned. Therefore, we can calculate that as our net profit in this formula to determine the return on investment for the wireless intrusion prevention system. So what we'd have to ask is what events or risks are we targeting with that? Well, there are risks of people installing rogue access points, which could lead to someone stealing data and all kinds of issues there. A wireless intrusion prevention system can detect denial of service attacks, and so it could help prevent those. A wireless intrusion prevention system can detect misconfigured access points and clients, and so it can help prevent security breaches there. So there are a lot of things that it can help to prevent. Well, in this case, let's just assume that we want to see the results of an investment that maybe is not the best solution for us. So for our net profit, we'll say it was $320,000. The return on investment is simply going to be, in this case, B2 divided by C2, or the net profit divided by the investment, times 100. And as you can see, my return on investment is 71%, or less than 100%. I don't get my money back. So that may or may not be a good investment. There can be other factors, not Every decision is just a do I get my money back decision. I may be implementing this also because of regulatory compliance, but I'm also trying to figure out what financial benefits I might be getting by implementing this WIP solution.